our dice. Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 96 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. And I'm going to flip our backlog a little bit and move this one up. Uh, so we had a, an issue after our first video in a while when we tried to run our build. Uh, we added Ruby 3.2 and Ruby 2.7 stopped working. So we have a backlog item to investigate this and an issue. So we can go over here, move this to, into in progress and take a look at our issue here. So the uh, issue is our RSpec isn't passing on uh, Ruby 2.7. We moved Ruby 2.7 out of our uh, build pipeline um, and put an item in the backlog to reevaluate what our future of Ruby 2.7 with this gem is and whether there's a fix available or or what. So uh, we're going to uh, take a look here. So the Ruby has a, um, a list of maintenance branches and the, the versions of Ruby that are maintained. Uh, you can see You've got normal maintenance, security maintenance, end of life, and uh, preview, which we don't have yet for 3.3. But um, Ruby 3.2, 3.1, and 3.0 are both in normal maintenance. And then Ruby 2.7, which is our uh, version that is causing us concerns, is in normal maintenance until... Uh, was in normal maintenance until uh, April 1st, 2022, and is now uh, scheduled to be end of life on March 31st, 2023. It's currently February 22nd, 2023. So that makes me tend to think that the solution to this is to not fix it. So we're going to go in and we have labels here. I'm going to add the won't fix label to this. And I'll add a comment noting what I'm planning on doing. And then we're gonna check out and uh, at least modify the master branch to um, bump the minimum Ruby version on our gem from uh, 2.7 to 3.0. So. Uh, I'll pause and write that comment on this issue. All right, so I've got my comment on this. Now what we'll do is we'll take a look at our branches here we're going to get check out B bump Ruby minimum so we're going to go in here to our gem spec and where it says um, required Ruby version We'll make this 3.0.0. And I don't think anything else should change here. Okay. Since we are changing our gem spec, we'll note that we'll redo a bundle install here. I think this should matter. For anything related to our build. Oop, okay. Requ 
required Ruby version and target v Ruby version should be equal. So we will now see if we can go to our rubocop.yaml upgrade target Ruby version. Rerun our spec. Rerun Rubicop. Uh, now we've got uh, yes, because we have Ruby version less than three. That is something we can get rid of. We've got some redundant freezes here as well. So all of our I'm going to specifically take this one out instead of auto-correcting it because I don't think that is the way I want it auto-corrected. So we'll go to our, it's the refresh seed method. doesn't seem, oh here it is, random ran equals Gets us down to four. It does. It was, we were evaluating to that all the time anyway. Now let's take a look at our other Rubocop offenses. Redundant freeze on all of those. back to no offenses detected, our spec is passing, and then we will take a look at our git diff. So our target Ruby version increases because our um, gem spec is changing those redundant freezes on our regular expressions are gone acquired ruby version is updated and the actually i don't even, i might not even need that variable anymore see and I think I want to switch the expected and actual for this
since we're actually testing the refresh seed helper. So we'll make that change. Go back to RuboCop. We're good. We'll add and commit our code. Let's pause and write my message. All right, so I've got my commit message here. I will push to my branch. Open for pull request. I will assign myself. This one, I'm going to actually take the milestone off of this issue here while we're waiting for the build to run. Make this, we'll create a new milestone, call it 0 0.5.0. milestone this issue and now go into the 0 0.5 milestone our pull request has successfully built go back into the Command line, merge, pull request. And then in our issue, Solved by not fixing and dropping support. C number fifty one. We'll close that with the comment. Take a look at our build and we'll update our backlog here I guess we'll, we'll still move this to done since we did do work here rather than canceled and we'll see you in the next video Ruby on Rails 7 is out code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 getting started guide and beyond with test driven development there has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails hit the ground running with the newest version
Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft. Welcome to this Stateless Code cast. This is episode number 96 in our series, Creator Can't talk.